went to Barcelona, Girona, Madrid, Sevilla, and Malaga. And has anyone ever been to Spain? Anyone? Okay, a few of you. So you know how amazing it is, the detail of the architecture, the sense of community in the streets, the gardens, they're actually amazing. One of the most notable sites we went to was in Barcelona. We went to La Sagrada Familia. And you guys, I can't even tell you, I feel like such a dork when I was there because on the tour, the tour guide was telling us the history of this. And it was started like over 135 years ago. They're still doing the construction. It's all in process still. And he explained that the reason for that was Gaudi was wanting, he was the architecture that created this. And he was so detailed in what he came up with. He used like Bible verses and all kinds of things for each of the elements. And he wanted to make it beautiful with the inspiration of nature because he felt people could be closer to God in nature. And the reason it took so long is because it was the money from the people of the town. They wouldn't take public money because it was supposed to be their, their church, their place. And I don't know why, I was just really moved by all of this. He, he, did, he, he donated his time. I don't even think he was paid, if I remember correctly. So we walk into the church and I'm like, all anticipating, plus I was jet lagged and delirious. <laughs> and it was the most beautiful light from every corner of the room. Green, blue, red, yellow, and then like the brightest white light ahead of you. And you guys, I'm just like actually embarrassed because I just had tears like roll down my face. And I wasn't like wincing or crying or feeling anything actually, it was weird. I was just standing there and I just, they just poured down like a faucet on each side of my eyes. And I was kind of embarrassed. I looked at my daughter and I'm like, what is wrong? And I'm like, <laughs> he's like I don't want anyone to see me. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is embarrassing. And so at any rate, that was one example of the amazing beauty that we experienced in Spain. Now camaraderie. My daughter had had, the past few years, have been filled with some like trials, you know, trials, tribulations. And likewise for me also. We kind of went through a lot, to be honest. And we got through it, and we've always been close. It wasn't really necessarily for her and I, it's just something she was waiting for, but we're really close, and I feel like we've gotten through this hurdle, you know? And so this trip felt like a resurgence and a victory, and like it was like we were celebrating that we got through something. And we were in this beautiful place, having amazing experiences over here. So we, we went through a lot, and then what was amazing about it was just being able to be there together. It was a very strong bonding experience, being in a new place. You know the thing about being in a new place? It, it, it's like you can feel energy from the past, and then it's like feeding on everything that you've always anticipated about. I don't know, it, it was just amazing, bless you. Um, we met locals, and my brother was actually living there in Corona, and we went to the place where they did the, I don't watch it, the show with the, everyone loves the show, we had wine from it. You guys know what I'm talking about? The, Thrones, Game of Thrones. Okay, they all, it's like a, a historic site. My brother was living there, and so we hung out with him and had an amazing time. We met locals, and we had deep conversations about love, life, ideas. I met some young man that was heartbroken, and he was, we just started talking, and I was like talking to him about life and love, and he was literally like so engaged, and I was, I felt so happy because he felt better, like he had hope at the end of our conversation. And I felt better because I was like, wow, I really love this guy. I don't even know him. <laughs> <laughs> and we had, <laughs> we had another experience where we were at this kind of pub place, just grabbing a bite. And we ended up talking to someone. They said, oh, you're American. Help us with this, this trivia. All this is American trivia. You'll, you'll know everything, which of course I knew nothing. He was like, oh, I'm like, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> but um, we ended up talking quite a bit. And we... <laughs> I was telling him, I, I started writing a little book last year, and I kind of tabled it a little bit, but it was funny because I felt discouraged about it. But when I started talking to him and his friend, they said, they were like excited. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm really interested in this. Like, you have to keep us posted. You know, I'm like, oh, you mean restart it? <laughs> you know? But it was just nice, like all the way across the world, complete strangers giving a dang about us and us doing a dang about that. It was just really beautiful. Very, very nice camaraderie. And as far as chaos goes, does anyone know what they call Wi-Fi in Spain? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Thank you. Tienes Wi-Fi. Tienes Wi-Fi. Tienes Wi-Fi. 